So while white students were primarily concerned with the anti-war movement and initially the civil rights movement that began in the age of Dr. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Elijah Muhammad, later on Muhammad Ali played a very important role in that, they tended to dovetail by the late 1960s. And so while Martin Luther King was shaking hands with the president in 64, when he realized, at least in a legislative sense, the dream about which he spoke for equality to be legislated, in the Civil Rights Act, by the late 60s, he had begun to speak about Vietnam. And as his voice was one of the least radical in the civil rights movement, which later became an increasingly radical black liberation movement, people got worried. And he was assassinated in 68 under very dubious circumstances that many link to his increasingly outspoken position on Vietnam. The, Muhammad Ali encapsulated it well, didn't he, when he, he said he didn't want to go and fight uh, America's war. Uh, he, he, he said that no Viet Cong ever called me the N-word. Mm -hmm. uh, he, uh, he empathized with brown people being murdered by white and black people for the power and wealth of white people. Yes, uh, indeed. It was, uh, it was I think, uh, an important uh, turning point. So you have this mass movement, not just in the US, but around the world. I was myself uh, a part of it. At the age of 14, I attended my first ever demonstration in Grosvenor Square in 1968. Outside the US uh, Embassy? Under the leadership of Tariq Ali, who's still mm. going strong.